Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting Michael. Hi Michael. Hello. Uh, and you're in a, a real nice Toyota minivan. Yeah, a 2010 Toyota, Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive. Good. Yeah. Sounds like uh, one of the perfect rigs because of Toyota reliability. Oh yeah, it's perfect. That's why I have it. it because I'm no mechanic, <laughs> right. so I want to make sure I have something that runs well. Yes, and, and that's uh, yeah. that's one of the top choices. Yeah. Uh, and so how long have you been on the road? I just started two just months started. ago. Two, two months. months so. And uh, what do you think so far? I love it. It's, I mean, it's what I expected. You know, I've always been a guy that travels around and lives, I think I have 40 addresses on my credit report. So I've always traveled and I've always moved. So this is just a different way of doing it. My van's been working out and I've met all kinds of great people. I've had so much fun out here. Yeah. I went to the RTR and I did the band show and that's all it took. So uh, I met, I've been traveling with the same group of people for um, ever since I got here. And so what was the motivation uh, uh, two months ago to get out on the road? I had a little change of circumstances. It gave me the opportunity to leave and I already owned the van and I'd already been camping out of it. And I have a very talented nephew in Santa Cruz, California who built my van out for me in January, and then I came here. So, uh, yeah, it was mostly just a change. I always knew I was gonna do this eventually. It was just a matter of good timing. And you're on Social Security? Living off a savings account right now. Oh, you and a whole bunch of other people, <laughs> yep. I'm not old enough for Social Security yet, so. Uh, you, exactly, I did the exact same thing. I may have to work, do a little something at yep. some point, but yep. I'm, I'm taking the winter break. Can we take a look inside your oh, van yeah, then? let's go. Let's I'll do that. Okay. I spent my, most of my life as a chef in culinary arts and things, so I wanted a, I wanted a van that I could prepare food out of because I'm kind of a healthy guy, and I want to make sure one thing I've noticed watching van videos for the last 10 years is people don't eat all that great, so it's a, I created a kitchen. For, right. So we've got, I created two kitchens, actually. So I've got a kitchen here. Wow. And this has got all my utensils. Actually, there's enough room back here. I've got all my pots and pans and my good quality cookware back there. So here I can put my stove. And then when I am cooking, and I've got this out, just I can put my stove here. And I can put my chopped, chopped vegetables or whatever I'm cooking here. I can have my olive oil and different things that I'm going to mm -hmm. use. And I, with this being up here, I can access all my utensils. So if I'm in the middle of something to decide I need a wooden spoon, it's right here. And away we go. And then on this side, I've got my pantry, basically. So it, I've got fresh fruit, dry goods, uh, my canned goods back here. Almost anything you'd have in any other house is here. Right, and a lot. That's and a, a lot. huge space. Yeah, I tried. It's very big, actually. If you pull it all the way out, it's oh, huge. Oh, wow, it so, is. Um, and it is just a slide and it's not, just a slide. Uh, there's nothing fancy on I me. Mean, this is the one thing that everybody really wants to talk about when they see my van is yeah, there's absolutely. no it's all wood. There's no sliders, there's nothing. It's just built tight. So my nephew's a very talented young man, so he uh, did a great job for his uncle. And then over here I've got Oh my, that's nice is, too. So I've got a my refrigerator down here. So I got all my food oh, right here at access. In the uh Stone goes Yeah, area. stow and go. So the stone go here, and then I've got a lot of storage under here. I've got my small propane tank that I refill my own bottles with under here, and some tools and things that I don't need every day. And so how do you get to them? Oh, do you have I to remove I literally it? have to pull the cooler out. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah, just stuff then, you don't need yeah, much. Yeah, this is what I call my utility drawer. So oh my goodness. So I've got a drawer <laughs> here that's got my stuff in it, you know, tape, extra stuff. I like coffee. It just keeps Extra coming coffee. out. Yeah. <laughs> so every every ounce of space in this van was utilized. Wow. And that drawer has been really And that cool. is actually on a slide. That one we did. We actually went to Habitat and stole, uh, right. took some slides off a piece of office furniture. Right. So everything we did was kind of sustainable and didn't didn't want to spend tons of money on useless things. So right. or things that could break. I'm not a I'm not a person who wants to fix things. This little flap kind of was a last minute thing, but we realized that we couldn't get the cooler in there. So now this has become a chaise lounge so that I can kick back oh and my. relax. Good so, <laughs> and this very simply done, just wooden boards and carved out some holes. So it's brilliant. That's the, that's my, that's his, this is my first kitchen. So the first kitchen. Yeah. Now, and I don't see a stove, but I guess we're going to see yeah, that yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. So I watched enough videos to know that you're going to be, oops, here we go. This is the real thing. 
I watched enough videos to show that, so I had this cabinet built here. This is where I do some cooking, especially this winter when it's been very chilly in the Arizona yep. desert. So mm -hmm. I can cook both places. It's, and I've, I've made soup from scratch and all kinds of things in here, kind of smelled my van up, but it, you leave the door open, it goes away. So I have the access of cooking right here, and then this is my water. So I just have a very simple five gallon tank and a little, you know, mm -hmm. a little pusher there. Here I've got my hiking, I like to hike, so my hiking boots and my dusty shoes are all in there. Mm -hmm. so this is my heater, I, I did have a Mr. Buddy, it's just too big for this little space, so I've been heating my van with this. At night I just open the window, I've got my thing, crack the window, turn it on low all night long, I'm perfect. The front seat really is just not much. Front seat? It's a mess. Yeah. Well, that's where I keep my uh, folding, my all my panels that go on my windows and stuff go in there when I'm traveling. So. And oh you can gosh. cook inside or out. I right can cook there. inside or out. And oftentimes I do, I can stand right here and cook too if the wind's blowing a little bit, but not so hard that I have to close the doors. I can stand right here and cook. Yeah, it's worked out really well. It's a fun space. And it's very simple. Like everything's built nice, but it's not fancy. We did a lot of flooring came from Habitat Humanity. The trim work was just flooring that we cut down. So again, just using what we had. I brought some used plywood in here from the Northwest and and you can't see, it's just sustainable-ish. I have the entrance on the driver's side, which I don't see very often, but I did that because I wanted to be able to access my stuff. When the seat goes all the way forward, this makes a ton of room. It does. So, and my bed is kind of hanging over right now because I lifted the back, but there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, just slides forward. Yeah, so I keep my Blue Eddy right here and this way I can charge it. I can put my solar panels right here and away we go. I got, I have a nice little cabinet for my toiletries and different things. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the vintage business when I was younger. I've always liked vintage things. So this, this little drawer is actually an old wooden library door, the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, I see it. Yes. So that, that was one thing that I had. The one thing I wanted to incorporate in the build was that. So it makes a great little piece. And then there's a ton of storage in between these. These are actually two big long tubes. So in between the drawers is massive storage under here. It works out really well. I mean, I've got this space here for all my eyeglasses and mm -hmm. stuff that you, one thing I've really learned is that you have to be organized and I'm not going to lie, I've never been the most organized person, but this has been a new thing for me. But it works really well, and I can sleep in here, I can kick back in here, I can cook, I can do everything that I need to do, and I don't even really have to move. This is built for two people, but I'm only traveling alone right now, so I do have a yoga mat on the other side. And when I move the blankets and everything, I can actually do some floor exercises right over there. It's a small space, but it's it's definitely designed for me. And I did put these LED lights. They're not sticking so hot, but it made a huge difference. I can see everything at night when these LED lights are on. All my clothes are, clothing are here, and then my shoes are on the other side, and that's basically it. But yeah, that's it. It, it works really great. <laughs> I, I mean, can see that. Yeah, and then the the fact the back seat folds down, and I can utilize that when I'm camped. Maybe put I can put things over there that I mm -hmm. mostly close. So uh, two things I didn't ask yeah. and I didn't see. Uh, how are you going to the bathroom? Oh, in that space between the two drawers underneath my bed, I have a folding toilet. Uh -huh. and I, I use that. And then I'm a guy, so I just use a jug. That, yeah, and I've gotten used to it. I have to admit, I thought it was going to be weird, but it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> the first few times, <laughs> yeah. <a little> rough. <laughs> Once you get used to it, it's fine and it goes away. So, yeah. Um, now it's actually worked out really well. I, I, I'm actually surprised how comfortable I am in here and how much I enjoy the times when I do have to be stuck in here watching videos or listening to music or reading or whatever. Like it's a very comfortable space. I do the same exact thing I would do if I was at home. I'm just not moving around as much. Right. But yeah, it's a great space. And it's set up for cooking because I like to cook and I do plan to do some cooking shows on my uh, YouTube channel once I get, once the weather gets a little bit better. It's been a little tough lately. So. <laughs> Tell us your YouTube channel. Well, uh, my YouTube channel is Not Your Mom's Van. And I have an Instagram, the same not, uh, hashtag Not Your Mom's Van on Instagram. And I will be doing cooking shows off the back of my van. I want to teach 
van life people and people that are out here how to be a little bit more healthy about what they're cooking, making, preparing some simpler meals that that are more healthy because I used to be a 300 pound guy. So I, I try to make sure that I take care of myself. And I think that a lot of other people out here could benefit from that. That's what my show is going to be about. And also just basic skills on how to cook. So I think it'll be fun. Some re yes. regional cooking, things like that. So. Cooking small is a little different. It is a so, totally different game. And yeah. you have to realize that you you don't use as much out here, but you, but you can do it. You can be healthy and eat healthy out here if you have the right items in your kitchen. So right. that's going to be what I'd like to do is teach people how to do that and show them that they can do that. Yeah. And also do some regional cooking, depending where I'm at, because I'll go home and you know, boil crab on the back of my van or something. Yeah, <laughs> so, sure. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to do. Tell us again your YouTube channel and Instagram. Not your mom's van. There you go, yeah. everyone. And and that's the same for YouTube, both the same. So. Right, everyone go there yeah. and uh, subscribe right now. Yeah, please do. And hopefully you'll get some good cooking suggestions while you're out here on the road. Well, you've got a brilliant van, so. Oh, thank you. Uh, and who I, came up with the design? You My or, nephew, nephew, I have a did. very talented nephew named yeah. Ted. Uh, he lives in Santa Cruz and he works in the Bay Area. He lives in the Bay Area and he has built out schoolies and different things. So this is he looking for work. Yeah, he's always looking for work. So if you can touch base with me on, on Instagram and I can connect you with my nephew. But he does do schoolie builds, van builds, minivan builds. He actually does a Prius build. So he he's a very talented guy. And uh, we, we, we literally built this in the middle of a rainstorm oh in Santa boy. Cruz, yeah. uh, cent storm century of the year, 100 year storm, and it took us about four days. Wow. So we just went at it and, you know, I did, I'm not, I don't have any, I can't measure anything in my life, but he did it, I stained it. <laughs> so, uh, but no. yes, if you're interested in my nephew and you're in the Bay Area, just let me know, uh, Santa Cruz or anywhere, he might even travel for the right person. He's a very talented kid. So I guess so, you yeah. can see it here. Yeah, so yeah, I'm very proud to show my nephew's work off. Right, it should be. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so if you want to hit me up on Instagram message, I'll put you in touch with my nephew. Okay, well, Michael, thank you so much for sharing your home. Boy, oh, you got some you. great ideas here. Oh, good. Amazing. I, I'm glad you like it. It's definitely built for me. Yeah. The nice thing that he also did was he measured it for me, so I can sit here and my head doesn't hit the, my head doesn't hit the ceiling. Everything's built custom for my height. One thing that I was worried about when I came out here was that if I wasn't going to be around enough diversity and there is plenty of that out here. Mm -hmm. you, you are not alone. And if you want to come out here, just come out because there's somebody for everybody out here. Right. And it's great. It's probably one of the most nicest communities of people I've met in my life. It feels like living in a small town. And I like that. Yeah, I think once the, uh, the stress and the anxiety of modern life falls away, yeah. you become the real you and the real you for most of us. Is pretty fantastic. Yeah, people, we're all helping each other every day. Yeah. Every day somebody has something that they need help with and we all gather together and help. And the other day, one of my friend's solar panels flew off while she was flying down the road. So we gathered people and we got it fixed and we yeah. cooked meals together. I cooked for everybody while they were working. So we had a great time and it's a blast. Yeah. And you can meet whatever you, whoever you are, there's somebody just like you out here. Right. And that's probably one thing that I really like to express to people. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very good. Yeah. Well, Michael, thank you so much for sharing your home and your experience. Oh, it's, uh, I know it's going to be helpful for a lot of people. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you chose me to do this. You so. bet. All right. So, folks, if you got anything out of this video, and I know beyond any shadow of a doubt that you <laughs> did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.